this video I'm going to be uh, making it specifically for my 104 classes at IUK. We're going to be solving compound inequalities and specifically doing OR examples. This will be questions that are coming out of section 4-2 for my students that are in my class. Alright, so you're going to be able to tell an OR inequality because it's going to have that word OR in there. You're going to get a couple inequalities, you'll have the word OR in between there. Okay, so um, for the most part, these are probably just going to be two-step equations. They might have a little bit more to them, but for the most part, pretty simple inequalities to solve. So algebraically, let's go ahead and solve this. We're going to add 3 to both sides. We'll have a 2x is less than a 10. Dividing both sides by 2, we'll have x is less than 5. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put the word OR down there. Now let's go ahead and do this one. I'm going to need to subtract 35 from both sides of the equation. All right, that's going to give me a negative 4x is less than or equal to. Adding here, I'm going to get a negative 32. All right, dividing here by that negative 4, you've got to remember your rules for um, multiplying and dividing by negatives with your inequalities. Whenever you multiply or divide by a negative number, you got to remember to switch that inequality sign around. Okay, so this will be x is greater than or equal to a positive 8. Okay, if you are in a high school algebra 1 class or maybe an algebra 2 class, you might possibly be allowed to just stop right there and leave your answer like that. But in a college algebra class, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, actually go down and put this solution in interval notation. All right, now probably the easiest way to do this on ORs is to picture it on a number line and just see what happens. Okay, so let's draw a number line. Let's put 5 and 8 on the number line because those are the two that we've got here. All right, and then let's just graph it and see what it looks like. This says x is less than 5. All right, well, that would be down here. Okay, and less than 5 means I am not going to include 5 in my answer. So curvy bracket there, and that part of the equation is here. All right, now this says x is greater than or equal to 8. Well, those would be these numbers over here. The equal to part says that I'm going to include 8 in my answer. So I'm going to have a square bracket there and shaded this way. All right, so on a number line pictured, that's what my ORs look like. Okay, now, um, if you are in a high school class or, a, say, an Algebra 2 class in, in high school, Algebra 1, you could would um, not necessarily be using the interval notation with the square bracket and curvy bracket. You might be using open and closed dots, where this would be an open dot and this would be a closed dot. The concept's the same. Square bracket or closed dot means that we are going to include the number in the solution. A curvy bracket or an open dot means that we would not be including the number in the solution. Okay, so a solution here in terms of interval notation, okay? Um, we all know that negative infinity is down here on the number line, positive infinity is here on the number line. Okay, so curvy bracket negative infinity all the way up to five. Curvy bracket on five because I do not want to include it. I'm gonna skip over this section of the number line, so I'm gonna union. Um, I want to include eight, so square bracket, and then all the numbers up to positive infinity. Okay, if you are not, uh, let's go ahead and write interval notation. If you are not familiar with interval notation, I'm sure there's uh, some videos on my channel where I go into detail about explaining interval notation. Okay, but in a college algebra class, you're probably going to have to be writing that solution using your interval notation. All right, now let's just go ahead and do a second example here because while they look like they're going to be relatively similar, you don't know necessarily what you're going to encounter until after you solve it. All right, so let's uh, add 5 here to both sides of the equation to start solving this. I'm going to have a 3x is less than or equal to an 18. Going ahead and dividing by that 3, I'll have x is less than or equal to 6. I'm going to go ahead and put my OR in. Now, solving this inequality, we'll subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. I'm going to have a 5x is greater than a negative 5. All right, dividing by 5 there does not mean anything, so I don't have to flip the sign or anything. x is greater than negative 1. Okay, so again, depending on what class you're in and what the expectations are, you might possibly be allowed to leave your answer like that. All right. But let's go ahead and write it in interval notation. Let's draw it on a number line first and see what it looks like. I have a negative 1 and a 6. Clearly, negative 1 has to be down here. 6 has to be down here somewhere. 
All right, so this says x is less than or equal to 6. All right, so here's 6. The numbers that are less than 6 are this way, so let's shade that. Um, less than or equal to means I do want to include 6 in the answer, so square bracket, and it's going to be all of these numbers right here. Okay, now let's go ahead and do um, this one. It says x is greater than negative 1. Okay, so x is greater than, so I'm not including 1, but the numbers that are greater than negative 1 would be all of these numbers. And as you can see, the whole entire number line got shaded. Now granted, yes, this is an open dot on negative 1, so from this inequality, negative 1 is not included, but with this inequality, every number less than 6, negative 1 is included. All right, so ultimately all the numbers on the number line are included, and so on this one your solution would be all real numbers or in interval notation negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay, again that being in interval notation. So just two uh, real straightforward um, compound inequalities involving or. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.